Aries, hi, and welcome to your reading. This is a general love tarot reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. It's also a timeless love tarot reading, so whenever you find it, this is the right time for you to receive the message. Now, Aries, I hope you are well, wherever you are in the world. Um, as usual in this reading, we are going to be looking into how the person that you have in mind feels about you. I've got some flipping already. And at the end, I'm also going to pull, pull some extra oracles. Um, we will look into this person's intentions and next steps towards you. So I'm just going to move them away. These are general love and life coaching or oracles. Look what we have for you, um, Aries. We've got some a very strong soulmate and divine connection on yeah, we've got a six of cups and the lovers. This is how the person that you have in mind feels about you. They are they feel that they are completely head over heels in love with you. They are connecting with the right person in their life. That's how they feel. Um, there's a lot of beautiful caring feelings here as well, but there's ten of wands. And we will clarify that. <clears throat> Excuse me, Aries. We will clarify the Ten of Wands. Let's get one more for Aries. How does this person feel? How does this person feel? Please, Tarot, please, Spirit, show me the energies that I need to see. Four of Cups is here as well. Very interesting. So let's first clarify why we have the Ten of Wands for Aries. Um, four of Pentacles. Someone is not really showing the other how they feel. Lack of reciprocity um, I'm getting. With this, um, I'm getting that someone isn't interested in the love. Look, this is the Four of Cal Four of Pentacles is a clarifier for the Ten of Wands. It's the hardest part is the fact that someone's not opening up. And here we have um feeling as this love would have been unrequired like we have such a strong connection here this is how the person feels what's going on Aries why do we have the four of cups here why is the four of cups four of swords yes there is a very strong energy look at this okay first Someone is um, really, really not showing any feelings, any you know emotions. They are dissatisfied. They're taking the time, and um, so there is a message that perhaps this person um, that you are dealing with. Is taking a pause although this is such a strong divine connection I don't see a breakup here or um, but I see that um, you know there's a strong message of a situation in here that Aries. Either you are not interested in this connection and this person is feeling this this way um, or this person does 
recognize that this is a divine connection with the lovers and six of cups however they are at this moment in their life unable to give this love to you okay and I frankly speaking will say that I'm feeling this is your person they know what is this connection about Aries but this person needs time at this stage they are unable to offer you that love Aries you could be dealing with Gemini also Cancer Scorpio Pisces but Gemini um let's see intentions well intentions what are this person's intentions what are this person's intentions Please tell, please show me the energies that I need to see what are this person's intentions for Aries. Seven of Wands, yes, I do feel they are in their bubble taking care of themselves. I feel this person is recognizing that um, they need healing they are not prepared to give that love um this person is taking their time and they will be um continuously sort of um rejecting oh rejection is protection but what i'm seeing this is the intention this person is intending to look what, what's happening here this person is actively um, healing themselves so yes they won't be able to give you that love until they are ready and feel that they have balanced their emotions they are working on their chakras We've got the Justice, Two of Cups and Ten of Swords. Um, very strong twin flame connection. So you 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 have met the right person, but um, the joy of twin flame and divine connections is that there is a lot of work attached to these. They are never easy. This person knows that you are guys... Um, connecting with with uh, one another for a reason you are twin flames all soulmates at least and i feel with the justice here right next to seven of um ones look i do believe that this person has very pure intentions to like really sort themselves out to do it the right way because they know they are unable at this stage to offer you the love. What a clear reading. I love that. Ten of Swords. Um, I believe it. it is to do with this continuous energy that we get here. The fact that this person is unable to offer their love meet you halfway I feel this is what the ten of swords is talking about um, they want this this to end they want to be able to extend that offer you are their soulmate and they know that they recognize that you could be dealing with Libra as well 
that I really truly feel that this person, the rejection, if that's the case, Aries, if you are connecting with someone and this person is basically holding you back, you know, it isn't easy for them. I just want to let you know, it isn't easy for them. Um, but they are unable to, to do it at this stage and they will be actively working with these two. Actively really working to sort it out, to sort themselves out. Now let's see. Um, let's take this. I love these crystals there. Next steps, Aries, what a beautiful, this is a very clear message here, um, two people met and I feel if you're patient, um, then you are going to be able to enjoy this connection. I don't see anything else. This may be, you know, um, the reason for the four of cups. The reason for the inability to accept or offer love is the four of swords and the seven of wands, especially in this deck. The fact that this person is is turning into you know, meditation healing, they may not be the in the best headspace. Depression. They may need some time for themselves. Okay, but they recognize it and they are actively working on it. They want this to to end that phase, and they would like to be able to connect with you. The two of cups is here in the intentions. Please show me for Aries this person's next steps in this connection. Please show me this person's next steps. We've got the moon, the strength, five of swords, and the devil. Um, a lot of major arcana, Aries. I feel the rejection will be felt on both sides. Um, I don't think this person is doing this in. <clears throat> um, on purpose but the five of swords to me <clears throat> it's a clear extension of this this person is unable <clears throat> I'm sorry I can't talk this person is unable to um, accept or give their love to you they know what this connection is about they do know person does recognize what you are for one another but unfortunately in the next couple of weeks I do believe that you are going to feel um, really hurt really much really will feel the end of this the other end of the stick meaning that this person's not responding that there's um, perhaps lack of communication and you will feel that and they will feel that too okay i'm going to clarify there is devil here as well um there is moon and the strength and i feel this is the strength for me is a huge willpower and i feel this is something that you may not know about this person with the moon 
the willpower to me uh, refers to this. I feel this person really wants to fix themselves. They are in the bubble, yes, they are not letting you any close. They are holding you like this, okay? Um, but again, this is for a reason. They need to fix this state of mind that they are in. Okay, we had the Four of Cups clarified by the Four of Swords. They need their time. And the devil here, hmm, temptation, but why is the devil here? Just one clear message, please, one clear message. Why is the devil here? For Aries, what's this person? What are these? Okay. Sex. Yeah, we've got King of Wands here. Mm, I'm, I'm getting you may find out that this person, because the King of Wands is a clarifier for the, the devil, I do feel that sex has got something to do with it. You may also find out that they basically are, you know, in, intimately involved with someone else, but they are not with you, and that's going to hurt. And the reason that they might be doing it simply because they don't feel this. And it's just so much easier for them. This is how they feel connected to you. It's huge. Soulmate connection. And that is why they know that there is a lot of work that they have to do on their side. And they are with the justice here in their intentions will be trying to fix themselves so that they can connect with you but in the meantime yes i feel this person is going to enjoy their life with um, someone else and that may definitely hurt you if you have feelings for this person now i'm going to pull some extra messages for you I'm going to do each one of them for Aries. Also have one of the beautiful messages. One for Aries. My responsibilities are weighing me down. Okay, perhaps this has um, some sort of explanation for you, Aries, why your person is um, essentially unable to offer you love, focus on this, perhaps. And let's see, we will take top Aries. Alone time. So, um, I do believe that this is your person, despite the fact that they are in this union with you, they will want and they do need and they will take a long time. Um, now let's take this letter message. They are always very, very interesting. Kisses. Unconditional loving. 
falling in love, giving and receiving affection. So perhaps this is how this person feels, you know, they, they are, they are connecting with you and I do believe you feel it on your end as well. And they would like to be able to offer you love, show you love, show, show you how they care about you. Um, they are not prepared. So let's see. Miracles. Okay, the message is if you come from a high vibration, um, you are going to be drawing the positive energy the miracles are going to be happening stay in high vibration now we have whispers of love you are limitless you can do anything you choose so it does say you do have a choice also in this situation you are limitless the other one is Heavenly Helpers. Your spiritual team is guiding you through this difficult situation. So you're not alone. There is help and follow your follow your gut feeling. Follow this as you have guardian angels around you and let's discover this one community um this talks about that there is help um around um the, the trees have really deep roots um even if you can't see them they are there these are your friends your family your community reach out if um you need it the help is there Perhaps this is more message for your person. Um, now, Aries, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. It does help me to build this channel if you guys do subscribe. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if this resonates, come back and drop me a comment. And again, thank you for your time and goodbye for now.